Andrew. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is our PID project where we balance a ball on a beam. Yeah, Brandon, I'll show you here. on that set point there, um, which is about eight centimeters from the device, from the sensor. Um, we'll kind of explain how we did that and um, go ahead and continue. So our goal was to design the closed loop apparatus to test the PID controller. Uh, and the way we wanted to do that was to balance a ping pong ball on a beam uh, and use a PID controller to do that. So we built that apparatus and our plan was to tune the PID controller to get it to balance on a particular set point and minimize the error while it did that. Okay, and so in order to do this, we made this apparatus here. Um, we connected an Arduino to uh, a servo motor and a sensor, an ultrasonic sen sensor. It senses where the ball is and uh, determines uh, how the servo motor will turn in order to make the ball go uh, up or down uh, this beam. Um, so the set point we used uh, here was eight centimeters, but um, ideally you can set it to any distance you want and it should uh, allow it to balance there. And so our set point, uh, eight, eight centimeters, um, our actuator is the servo motor, our sensor is the ultrasonic sensor, and that's our apparatus. All right, so before we made the codes to run the apparatus, we wanted to run a simulation to see uh, what parameters would be best for tuning. So we used a physics-based model um, using what we knew would be the acceleration of the ramp given its angle, and that's given by 3 fifths times g, sine theta. And it's like this because it's a hollow sphere rolling down a ramp instead of a frictionless object like we normally do in physics. Um, and then the velocity is just the acceleration times the change in time plus the previous velocity. And the position is described by the velocity times the change in time plus the previous position. And as you can see here, it works very well. You know, evens out within around three seconds. Um, our model was a little more ideal than the actual system, as you can see. It took a little bit longer, but it shows that um, it is theoretically possible to do um, fairly well. So the results, uh, we had our Arduino print out the position of the ball with time and then plotted it as well as the output that was sent to the motor. So as you can see in our original attempt, which before we tuned it, we had quite a lot of oscillations and we also were questionably on the set point. It really never stayed at the set point. Uh, after tuning, we got much better where we had the controller reacting sh more sharply to these really high points. Uh, and then we did have our integral term that brought it once it was um, offset, it, it kind of increased the output as you can see uh, to help correct so we did get an improvement, but we still had quite a lot of oscillatory behavior, and we're pretty sure this was because of our sensor, which um, had some trouble with readings. We used an if statement to keep it from using erroneous readings in the output. Uh, unfortunately, what that meant is that it wasn't reading at regular intervals because there were some of these errors coming in. Uh, so we were able to improve the controller, but we not quite as much as we were hoping for. Yeah, so as a conclusion, uh, even though we weren't able to uh, match the model exactly, we were able to get it to balance uh, where we wanted it to on the beam, uh, which was the object of this uh, project. Um, if we were to improve it, uh, improve upon it now, uh, we know now that the sensor is maybe inadequate or we, we may be using it wrong and we just need to uh, improve the, uh, the sensor hardware probably. Um, Another issue that we could have uh, tried to fix uh, is getting a higher powered servo motor uh, so that it would 
uh, move more exactly according to uh, how we uh, trained it to. Um, also, the measurements on our on our system uh, may not have been exactly accurate. Um, that may be another source of error for us. Um, and yeah, I think that I think that uh, considering the the circumstances, uh, we did pretty well in trying to get it to balance where we wanted it to. And that's it. <laughs>